Ubuntu 1910 is here, serving as the latest version of the popular Ubuntu Linux operating system. It's backed by nine months of updates and arrives ahead of next year's big LTS release. Naturally, I couldn't resist loading it onto a USB and booting it on the nearest available laptop. So join me as I explore what's changed in Ubuntu since the last time we looked at it. Ubuntu 1910 features install support for the ZFS file system. This exciting edition is considered experimental for now, so if you do try it out, be aware that you may lose your data. You can also install the latest proprietary NVIDIA graphics drivers direct from the ISO, crossing the job off the post-installed task list. Ubuntu sports a brighter look in this release, as shell UI elements are no longer dark but lightly coloured. It's a refreshing change, but it remains to be seen if this whitey bright look will be to everyone's tastes. USB drives and other removable devices now show up on the Ubuntu dock. It's a minor but helpful addition. Finally, you can organise your software into folders on the application screen. Just drag and drop an app shortcut onto another app shortcut to create a custom folder you can then rename. To remove apps from an app folder, just drag them out. Setting desktop and lock screen wallpapers is a touch easier in Ubuntu 1910 thanks to the redesigned background panel. Just pick a thumbnail, pick a setting, and away you go. Notice anything different? Well, you might do, because the look of the login and lock screen is now brighter and more colourful. New themes are included in Ubuntu 19.10. Yaru Light is a full light theme with cool grey header bars, and Yaru Dark is a full dark theme, perfect for late nights and heavy workloads. The downside is that you need to install the GNOME Tweaks app to enable either theme. Talking of downsides, it's still not possible to drag and drop files from the file manager onto the desktop. Nightlight, the built-in blue light filter that helps protect your eyes, is now in a separate tab in the display settings. Spinners in the Wi-Fi panel now make it easier to tell when you're still in the middle of connecting to a wonky wireless network. If you want to reorder search results in the settings app, well, you can. This way, the stuff you care about most will appear sooner when making global searches from the application's overview. Overall desktop performance is drastically improved in GNOME 3.34, which is what Ubuntu 19.10 ships with. You should notice that animations are smoother and more fluid, and system UI elements are more responsive. Linux kernel 5.3 is on board with a clutch of new and improved hardware support. You also get the latest versions of open source apps like the Firefox web browser, LibreOffice productivity suite, and the venerable Thunderbird email client. In summary, Ubuntu 19.10 is a solid upgrade. It improves what went before, adds some extra, and sets a solid foundation ahead of next year's LTS release. So, in my opinion, it's definitely worth upgrading.